Good day everybody, some students have asked me to exactly obtain the formula for integral cosecant squared x dx. So that's the reason I'm doing this question. This is a simple question, but yet the proof is a little bit, uh, what should I say? We need to pay attention. That's the best way to say. So now I know that uh, cosecant x is equal to 1 over sin x or cosecant squared x is equal to sin squared x. So therefore this is equal to integral 1 over sin squared x times dx. Now there is a relationship that we have to know. Tan x is written as sin x divided by cos x. So if I were to cross multiply I get sin x is equal to cos x times tan x. Now I need sin squared x. So sin squared x is equal to cos squared x times tan squared x. Right? Now there is a formula that we have to know here. Secant x is equal to 1 over cos x and cos x is equal to 1 over secant x. This means cos squared x is equal to 1 over secant squared x. So I'm going to utilize this over here. So this means sin squared x is now written as 1 over secant squared x times tan squared x which is rewritten as tan squared x over secant squared x. So in place of sin squared x I'm going to substitute this. But we do not have sin squared x in the numerator. We got sin squared x in the denominator. So this is equal to integral. In place of sin squared x, I would be substituting tan squared x divided by secant squared x. So you flip it. This is going to give you integral secant squared x over tan squared x times dx. Now, let me take tan x is equal to some u. If you were to differentiate this, you get secant squared x dx is equal to du. So in place of this, which you see here, substitute this. So this can be rewritten as integral. Secant squared x dx is du and tan x is u squared. You can rewrite this by taking u to the numerator. You integrate, you get u negative 2 positive 1 divided by negative 2 positive 1, which is u raised to the power of negative 1 divided by negative 1. Take the negative sign out, bring the u raised to the power of negative 1 to the denominator, you get negative 1 over u. But what is my u? My u is equal to tan x. So substitute tan x. But what is tan x? Tan x is sin x over cos x. You flip it you get negative cos x divided by sin x. But what is cos x over sin x? Cot x. But what do you have here? Negative. And since it's indefinite integral, you got an arbitrary constant c. So what is on the left side? Left side is integral cosecant squared x dx. So this is a lovely result. Thank you everybody. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until we meet again. Enjoy your day. Thank you.